design of uh, digital controller using Kalman's controller. Let us design controller for three cases. One is one is for one upon three s plus one. Second one is e power minus one point three four six s upon 3s plus 1, first order plus dead time. Third one is 1 upon s plus 1 to the power 4. So now let us design the controller for first question. That is 1 upon 3s plus 1. What is HGP of s? HGP of s equal to 1 minus e power minus s upon s multiplied by 1 upon 3s plus 1. Therefore, HGP of, so let us assume that sampling period equal to 1. HGP of Z equal to 1 minus Z power minus 1 is a transform of 1 upon S multiplied by 3S plus 1. That is equal to 1 minus Z power minus 1 multiplied by 1 minus Z power minus 1. For this, for this you will get 1 minus Z power minus 1. 1 minus e power minus 1 by 3, that is 0 0.716 z power minus 1. Numerator, you will get 1 minus e power minus 1 by 3 multiplied by z power minus 1, that is 0 0.283, 0 0.283 z power minus 1. These two getting cancelled, therefore HGP of z equal to HGP of S equal to 0 0.28176, 1 minus 0 0.716 is 4. Hmm? 284 z power minus 1 upon 1 minus 0 0.716 z power minus 1. This is HGP of Z. Numerator is equal to P of Z when if you add the coefficients of uh, numerator polynomials equal to 1, but uh, it has only one term. Let us make it two terms deliberately. 1 plus z power minus 1. 1 plus z power minus 1. I am deliberately multiplying because I want to make numerator two terms. That's why I am multiplying the numerator denominator by 1 plus z power minus 1. Therefore, I will get 0 0.284 z power minus 1 plus 0 0.284 z power minus 2 upon 1 minus. Uh, 1 minus uh, 1 plus z power minus 1 minus 0 0.716 z power minus 1 minus 0 0.716 z power minus 2. That is equal to 0 0.284 z power minus 1 plus 0 0.284 z power minus 2 upon 1 minus 0 0.2. 284 z power minus 1 minus 0 0.716 z power minus 2. Now we can call numerator p1, p, p of z. This can be called as p of z and this is q of z provided the sum of coefficients must be equal to 1. Here sum of coefficients not equal to 1. Therefore, if it is not equal to 1, divide the coefficients by sum of the coefficients. Then you will get 1. What is sum of coefficients? Sum of coefficients equal to 0 0.284 plus 0 0.284. That is uh, 0 0.568. Divide the numerator coefficients by 0 0.568. Divide the numerator and denominator by divide the numerator and denominator by 0 0.568. Divide the denominator also by 0.568. If we divide that, uh, numerator becomes 0.5 z power minus 1 plus 0.5 z power minus 2. 1.7605, 1.7605 z power, sorry, 
constant term. 1 divided by 0 0.568. Divided by 0 0.568. 0 0.284 divided by 0 0.6. We know that it is 0 0.5. Minus 0.5 is at power minus 1. One more term that is uh, minus 0 0.716 divided by 0 0.568. That is equal to 1.2605. 1.2605 z power minus 2. So, this is uh, HGP of z. HGP of z. Now, we can call this as P of z by Q of z. Here it is not so. Here it is not so. If you divide by 0.568, then only. Now, if you add the coefficients of numerator polynomial, then it is equal to 1. Therefore, it can be called as P of z by Q of z. Now, what is D of z? D of z equal to Already we derived d of z, q of z upon 1 minus p of z. q of z upon q of z upon 1 minus p of z. That is equal to 1.7605 minus 0.5 z power minus 1 minus 1.2605 z power minus 2 upon 1 minus 0.5 z power minus 1 minus 0.5 z power minus 2. So, we got the controller. We have to convert this into positive powers. We have to convert this into positive powers that is equal to that is equal to if you multiply the numerator denominator by z power 2, you will get 1.7605 z square minus 0.5 z minus 1.26 0, 0.5 constant term divided by z square minus 0.5 z minus 0.5. This is the controller. Let us check in MATLAB whether it works for 1 by 3 s plus 1. Here the transfer function is 1 upon 3 s plus 1. The transfer function is 1 upon 3 s plus 1. The controller is uh, the numerator is uh, 1.7605 z square plus 0.5 z minus 1.2605. The denominator is z square minus 0.5 z minus 0.5. So we entered correctly. Now let us check uh, for the response. Uh, the response. Uh, Yes, we got what we assumed. The assumption we made is uh, the response is uh, in between 1 and 0 at first sampling period. After that, it is 1 always. At uh, 40th instant, we gave a disturbance of unit step input as disturbance. For that also, it works. For that also, it works. So, this is uh, up to 40 servo response. From 40 onwards, it is a regulated response. It works for both for first order response. It is ideal case. The controller is designed for first order process. Yes, it gives. Whatever the assumption we made, further it gives. Yes, 